Donald Trump's visit to Austin did not come cheap. Police officers and Travis County deputies have been managing security and traffic all day. KXAN's Arzo Dose takes an in-depth look at how campaign stops can leave cities with a huge bill. As Donald Trump's campaign rolled through Austin, you might have noticed the extra Austin police officers and Travis County Sheriff's deputies. They directed traffic and provided security, and that comes with a big price tag. All that manpower and overtime hours work. We know that Travis County's motorcycle unit helped escort Trump. As far as how many APD officers were used, a spokesperson says that information can't be released just yet because of safety concerns given how long Trump was in town. We want to protect them. Texas Congressman Lamar Smith says security during these campaign stops is vital. We want to make sure their lives aren't in danger. We want to make sure that there's no uh, threats of any violence. And whoever the presidential candidate is, Republican or Democrat, law enforcement officials, I think, are perfectly willing to do their job. Now, we did learn that Trump is footing the bill over at the Travis County Expo Center. His campaign rented out the entire grounds today. According to the Expo Center's website, the cost of using all the grounds for a day is $4,000. Now, equipment and rental fees are not included in those costs. Also, KXN has requested detailed information after Trump's visit, including the cost to the city. We're waiting to see what we find out, and we'll, of course, let you guys know. All right, so thank you very much. We appreciate that. Some cities around the country have been left with big bills following Trump's campaign stops. According to the Wall Street Journal, 15 events in March cost more than $300,000 to secure and manage. That's an average of $20,000 for each event. The biggest bill was for Trump's rally in Tucson, Arizona. According to the police department there, it cost more than $80,000 for 180 officers to work more than 1,100 man hours. Cities are not typically reimbursed by presidential campaigns for hosting events and the federal government has no obligation to pick up the tab. We have continuing in-depth political coverage online right now at KXAN.com. You can take a look at photos throughout the day as well as coverage leading up to the election.